What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back and we are playing some more Wulong. And this is gonna be my first build video for the game. This build is what I'm gonna use predominantly from beginning to like midway through the game. It's strong, it's fun, it makes it for a exciting playstyle. So, I'm about to go over it. I'm using dual blades, dual swords. I know it's different. I'm not using katana today. I started off with a katana, but I switched over because. I just like the moveset and these ones feel so cool and look so cool. This is my layered set. All the stuff I'm wearing right now is not necessarily these pieces, but I'm doing my whole Inosuke build because you know that Demon Slayer is coming back. At least the movie is coming back, so I had to throw some tribute to my boy. And also, he does look so good. And I missed the buff body in Monster Hunter, so I got buff body here. So we're about to take advantage of it, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, let's dive in. So I'm going to show you not only my build, but I'm going to show you how to build your character as well. Say you're starting off the game. The game is very intricate. It has a lot of things you can do to customize your character. So I'm going to go over all of it. So if you guys didn't know, I'm using dual swords. That's the regular attack and the triangle attack afterwards. It does a little slash like that. If you're trying to swear in triangle afterwards, it does that move. So my first move, which I highly recommend is this one. Why is that one amazing? I'll show you right now in battle. So I like that move because one, it shoots you up into the air like this and allow you to do big combos like that. And a lot of times it allows you to actually block the enemy attack also. I like that one to close his distance. Ooh, I got that one. Majority of the time it does help you connect. Boom, I love it. So that's why I like that ability It's really, really quick. Just give you like a showcase of my skills as well. The skills I use on my character, he's going to be focused on, I'm not going to be casting magic, but what I am going to be casting is, I'm going to be utilizing my skills in a supportive way, like a buff. This one's dope because what it does is as I'm doing damage, as you see, I'm healing, which is good. And when you do your finisher, you do even more damage. Like that, look at that, beautiful. So my second skill I use, this one you can't get to later on, Oh, I can't even use my knock on reputation not high enough. It is my teleportation skill. And I'll show you that one in a different level. My second ability I'm using is my teleportation, which is really good for closing the distance. If a lot of monsters, a lot of enemies and bosses in this game are very, very fast. So it allows me to close the distance, get behind them if I need to, and get out of harm's way right away. Last so next one I use is I use my stone ability. I pick all these abilities based on the, what my weapon scales with, so it can make me sure that it makes sense and can support me in battle. So the skill, stone skill, what it does is it increases my defense while I have it. And you can tell your skill is on right now by the little stone symbol in the middle right there. It's telling me that <clears throat> I still have that status effect. I proc it again, and there it goes, it's going again. The last skill I have, is this is my, I just want more offensive skills. So I put my ice sword, because I have so many points invested into water, that it makes sense for me to utilize some of the abilities on that side. So I got freeze weapon as well because I do pretty good damage and I have a lot of points vested in that skill tree because of basing the weapon I'm using. So now that we're back, so now that you see what the build is, now, so now that you see what the skills can actually do, let's talk about the actual build right now. So for my build, I'm using the dual mountain banding weapons and you can tell that it has an A in water, a D in earth, a D minus and a C minus in, in wood. So essentially, I want to make sure I put my attributes in those categories, which as you can see, which I have to make sure I can maximize my damage. They have a C, A in, in the water, which I do most of my defects, most of my skills. So it makes sense for me to put the most points in there. I get the most bang for my buck. And after that, I'll go with wood, then I'll go with earth. As far as my armor set, I'm actually on the actual weapon itself. You'll see I changed up some things on it. I don't, it's a level three weapon right now, three star weapon, so I don't have that many slots. But the one thing I did put in there is melee attack damage and martial arts spirit contribute is consumption is decreased. Moving on to the armor pieces, this set supports me by one, making sure I'm agile because it's a lighter set. But at the same time, the most important things you want to do earlier on is just increase your damage dealt and, and re reduce your damage received. So you can do more damage and also you can receive more damage. As you start getting later on into the game, you'll start getting more abilities that are specific to your builds. And I'm assuming later it's going to be sets bonuses as well. 
But for now, with the stuff you get earlier on, this is kind of how I loaded my stuff up. If you notice over here, I got dual saves damage. So it increases my damage of the weapons I have equipped. So that's why I get additional damage. And it's even more damage than I would have got when melee attack. So as you start making your builds more specific, it starts doing more damage. And lastly, across, I have this one. This one is CSI Cot from the uh, Deluxe Edition. But the most important thing here is my melee attack is increased and my damage received is decreased as well. Moving on to my Divine Beast. Divine Beast give you benefits as well. And for me, the one I have so far, I have this one on there because the flex spirit consumption is decreased. We do a lot of deflex and my fatal strike damage is increased as well. So fatal strike is when they have a little red circle around them and you thrust them like that damage is increased, which is where you do a lot of your damage to bosses and enemies. So I prioritize using that. Ability. So how do you want to build your character? First, identify the most important thing is figuring out what weapon you want to use. So first pick the weapon and if you all the weapon you pick, it will tell you what stats you should prioritize when you're building your character. And from there, you want to go over to this guy and respect your character if you built it incorrectly or you want to try some different things out. Change, adjust, do everything you need to make sure you have your points allocated in the right way. If A is going to be the highest or higher than B and C than D and E. So I'm going to just S in here. But essentially, you want to put your points into the attributes that have an A or higher grade because you get the most attacking bonus from doing that. And if you go to status, you can see all your attributes right now and the bonuses you get from from putting your points into it. So earlier on, don't get too caught up on having the best gear because you're just going to get what you can find. But the thing is, with every piece you do get, you can customize them to make them fit exactly what you want. So example, you go over here, you go to embedment, you take off a slot. You can take off one, anyone that's not closed. This right here, you can't take it off because it's closed. It has the first part, the symbol in the middle, it has a back part on it that tells you you can't change this one. But these, you can all take off and change if you want. So as you start leveling up and get more money and stuff, you will essentially put attack. This You can only have one attack in one, it seems, currently. So you have attack. Once I have that attack, based on what it is, I can change the rest of these out. I always go for attack and def, de, damage reduce. That way it received, decrease. That way I'm not so squishy in battle. So very, very simple. The higher the stars, the more slots you have available to you in order to customize. So I'll do this, hit that. That slot's gone. Now I can go through and add whatever I want to it based on what I took off. You see, the triangles are always attacking ones. I can't add another attack one because I already have one on, but I could put another element on there if I want in order to make sure to make the build what I, exactly what I want it to be. As you upgrade your weapon, their skills will increase as well. Their scaling, I would say. As you, as you can see, my next level, my, my weapon's gonna go to a C plus when it comes to wood. So continue to level up your weapons. Also make sure you pay attention to what skill it has on it because it doesn't make sense for you to utilize a weapon that doesn't have a skill set that you enjoy playing. So that's also very important as well as you're building your character. So that's it. Pretty straightforward early game, how to build your character. And if you want, I, I didn't show this earlier, but if you want to change the way your character looks, you go back to her again. There's another category for decorate. All you do is pick the item and you can remove decoration. I already have one on there. And all you would do is just pick it, decorate, base change it, whatever you want it to look like. And boom, you're just like that. You're good to go to create whatever you want. So this is the build. This is my dual blades, my Inosuke build. My boy looks ready to go, ready for some action. Comment below what your thoughts are and what kind of weapons you're going to be using. The demo is out right now if you haven't played a game yet to check out the different weapons and playstyles, but make sure you subscribe. We'll have lots more videos coming up. I got my whole playthrough. I'm going to upload to the channel a lot more guide videos as well. The long the way to help you out and teach you the things that you need to know to make sure you have the most smoothest experience playing the game. My family stay smooth. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe till next time to your camera. Sending out.